Looks like we got a march going on here. Lots of cops. Part of what's left of the marsh, I guess. Don't go down there. Why? Um, there were a lot of people really baiting the police. They're getting, really they're getting arrested now? And so finally, after about two hours of it, without the police saying anything, the SWAT team just stood there. Um, they, they got really close to the SWAT team, and finally the SWAT team said, the city order of Pittsburgh, go home. Just, just disperse and go home. And they moved in tighter. <laughs> and, now they're cleaning uh, house, huh? So they said, finally, if you don't disperse, you'll, over, you'll be arrested. And um, well, they're still they, there. Are they arresting them? I don't know. So then they start wow. with a siren that really hurts the, uh, the ears. And these people knew it was going to happen. They said, if, if you don't have earplugs, get out of here. And it just got louder and louder, so you had to leave. Yeah. But there are people there just, just goading the police. Well, there's... There you go. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, when you get close, it was really loud. Wow. And they're well, trying not to arrest people. Well, you know, it could have been a lot uglier, but I think enough of us spoke out against the shit we saw going down the past couple of days. But the pure military state, you drive downtown, it's like, it's, no, it's nothing, nothing short of a police military, militarization zone down there. So they could have really come down heavy, maybe, the, maybe they're using some restraint. And because if they, if they want to start a riot, the cops surely can. Well, that's know. what they said. I was talking to the police and they said, um, we don't want to play hard. You know, yeah. we just want to keep everyone safe. Well, I hope they're that way tomorrow because we have a right to, to march tomorrow. It's a permitted it's march. Right. And we marched Sunday. It was very peaceful. And we never had any problems. And people, you know, I maybe, you know, if you, this is just pent up frustration. People haven't been able to speak out and they, they still aren't. They're repressing it. And it's a, sooner or later, it's going to boil over in something really bad in this country. And the more they keep repressing people. So, you know, I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, that's our new government here. Are, are you in? Are you in, um, with the media or something? No. Oh, okay. I'll give you, give you a copy of that. Uh, I thought we. Got, I need. I got involved in politics. Uh, I thought we needed a black president, so I wrote Colin Powell, and he wrote me this back. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it's not. He's a freaking criminal. After the, yeah. after that, my phones, my emails got tapped. The CIA really? tried to recruit me. Yeah. Uh, they use satellites to surveil me now because they can't get me to, to go work for them. And I know I know some of their freaking secrets, I guess. So now they're they're just harassing me. So this is why I'm. Uh, and Obama's group is doing that too. What's that? Obama's group is doing that too. Obama's CIA. I'm pretty yeah. sure he's CIA. Him and his mom both work for the CIA. So uh, well, it's just a continuation. Pittsburgh. Are you from Pittsburgh? Colorado. Actually, I left because of all this insanity. They, they tapped my phones, my emails. They're having my neighbors harass me because I speak out against 9-11. I was investigating 9-11, and I'm almost positive George Bush was involved in that big well, time. you know, this is a worker's city. What's that? This is a worker's city. Well, it used to be. <laughs> it still is. Well, yeah, but... There's great wealth here, but no one's flashing it, and... There are a lot of people, whether they be hospital workers or lawyers or whatever, or educators. Well, the blue collar, a lot of the blue collar workers are dried up. You know, no, this used that's to be. No, not true. Is that there still a lot of steel mills are gone, except for one. But a lot of people are in services. And they well, do yeah, very yeah. Well. Service service industry is pretty much what's taken over this country. Our our, our good manufacturing jobs are, are gone, and that's what right. this is all about. 
Well, we're not going to do manufacturing anymore. We can't compete, but we can compete. But <laughs> well, that's with what this creativity. is all about. But we have to move on. No, we we, we need we, just because we're, we're we're not going to work for slave labor doesn't mean we can't manufacture things in this country. We well, got to have to close down trade with other countries. No, no, you, we have to we have to make them equitable with us so that they're not pouring over our borders. That's true too. So they're not that's pouring over. Too. We're not using slave labor into China that's, and the Middle East. We have to too. bring them up to us. And you, I've been to Europe. I've been to to, uh, to Asia, and they have, they're open sewers. The rivers are open sewers from all the pollution that we are getting from their economies that we're not we're not doing over here anymore. So we just use these third world well, countries and we, and, we, and, we, and we split them out. And well, that's I thought Mexico took a very good lead with their manifesto that came out three months ago mm -hmm. where they said that they can't compete with some of the other countries and they don't well, want as to. As soon as they get done using these people, they'll switch to another country. And that's what this is all about. I mean, we can't do that anymore. we got we got to bring people up to to the standards of the world well, and, and not just the third world. I think they you know, realize we're, we're, we're on a race to the bottom. That's what they I think they about. realize that. I think and that's they what this that's is, what Mexico all about. is all about. Well, that's, that's what their international manifesto we, is we all about. We need, we need, because we lost the whole generation. We really have. Well, get on. But there's no. There's the helicopter. Pittsburgh police helicopter too, I think. Yeah, it's a police helicopter. It's our brave new world coming right at you, folks. Deploying our military on our own streets. There's our military trucks. That's what we got to look forward to in America. I'm a buxom little baby. More troops everywhere. More troops. More troops everywhere. This is our freedom of speech, folks. Yeah, yeah. I was talking to a guy here. He pretty much figured out what, what, what I'm going through. He says, yeah, you, you get to the point where you start knowing too much and they got to start fucking controlling you. And uh, that might be a good title for the book. The Man Who Knew Too Much. <laughs> got to kick around different titles. The Man Who Knew Too Much. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> 